hello wonderful people you're welcome back to my channel compliment of the season i do hope you're having a nice time enjoying your holidays so in today's tutorial we'll be looking at this corporate dress it has the top part and the skirt part now for the top part it has a necktie a balloon sleeves and then the the trunk of it is divided into two it has a fitted part and the part that looks like a jacket half of a jacket so now looking at the style for the check part the check fabric i'll be using this multicolored fabric and then for the plain part i'm using this royal blue crepe now for this project altogether you will need a pattern paper which will draft the jacket part and a tape rule a marker or this and highlighter a tailor's chalk a pair of scissors and then your ruler now for the skirt parts I'll be using a dartless method and I have a tutorial on my channel on dartless pencil skirt so I'll leave the link in the description box that you can watch that the focus here will not be on the dartless pencil skirt okay and then the bustier part you can use a basic bodies okay method or you use a bustier to make it more fitted and because i want it more fitted i opted for a bustier method for that upper half of the dress so i'm using this plain crepe and i'll be using the bustier method to to sew that part and for the for the jacket part i'll set this aside now when you're drafting a jacket you will need to give some allowance at the edge here and at the top there this part will take care of your button stand and the lapel and the upper part will be for the collar okay so i'll be using about three inches here now looking at that style the the jacket part is not just from the midpoint of that blouse part so it goes like an overlap into the next dart okay so i'll be using the whole of this because it doesn't need a button stand so i'll be using the whole of this three inches that i'll be using to form the cut to form the lapel of that jacket so now i'm taking my three inches allowance here and i will measure five inches from the top And I'll be ruling a line, okay, to have that space. So when I'm done with that, I'll first of all need to create my neck line, okay. I'm using three inches depth and three inches width, and then I'll use my ruler, the cut part of this part time master, and then connect this dot. And then connect this dot. Having done that, I will measure half of the shoulder measurement. In this project, I'm using 15 inches, and half of that is seven and a half. At that point, I am going down with one inch. That point will be our shoulder slope. And connecting these two dots. I will then go ahead and form the arm cuff. Now for the arm cuff, I'm taking down half of that shoulder measurement, which is seven and a half, and I'll get the midpoint of this seven and a half inches. And then, uh, so I'll rule a line from the shoulder slope. This is just the basic bodies I'm going through. I already have a tutorial on this on how to draft a basic body so i'll leave a link in the description box as well from your arm cuff i'm going inwards here with half inch and then i'll use that to create the arm cuff so this line now becomes our chest line so you can do it to extend that but i won't be needing that now and then to get the 
the half length i'll be using 18 inches as our half length and i'll add one inch for the same allowance i'm extending the center front line now and i will draw a line as our indication for the half length now on the half length i will bring in the dart and the dart here is one eighth of the waist measurement the waist measurement i'm working with is 32 inches and half of that is four inches and i'll take in half and add half again for my dart now the dart length i'm using six inches so for the middle dot i'm just extending this for our darts now now when i'm done with that i'll place the bust measurement of 39 inches divided by four so that i have nine three quarter and i'm adding one inch as same allowance now on the waist i'm placing one fourth of the waist measurement which is eight inches and i'll be adding this to half that i'll sew out later which is one inch for the dart i like to extend this length so adding one inch for the dart and one inch for the same allowance so i'll just connect i'll connect the bust measurement to the waist measurement now okay and i'll extend it all the way to the allowance that i added okay so now we are done with the basic body so i'll just draft the notch collar now now because i said we'll be using the whole of these three inches because it looks like an overlapped uh, you know like an overlapped jacket so We'll just use the three inches and then we are not creating any button stand here. So for, at this point, I'll create three inches and then I will rule a line that will run through the neck width like this. So now to create the notch color, I will extend the neckline, you know, about one inch outwards. And then from that, I am measuring one and a half inches inwards. And then at that point, I'm creating a diagonal line as well. One and a half inch diagonally. So I'll connect this dot. And we have our notch. Now to complete our collar, I'll measure the back neckline. Which bringing in the middle back of this, I'll measure it all round. Now I have four three quarter. I'll keep this aside and measure four three quarter from the neck width. I'll measure four three quarter upward. And at that point, I'm measuring half inch backward. I'll connect those two dots. This will help the color to sit proper. And then I'm basically just creating a normal color at this instance but of course it will not exceed the shoulder line so that's what we're working with but we need to create to create a normal a regular notch color okay so at that point i'll just cuff it to meet my neck width and then from that point i'll measure the width of the color so i like to make it three and a half inches I'll just connect this dot like so and that becomes our neck width now to complete our color I'll connect this point to meet the notch that we formed here so I'll connect it like so we have our lapel this way 
as well. So now, where we will stop will be this the, the line. So we will stop. You we will use this shoulder line. You know that's way. That's what we'll be using. So cutting this out. So now, like I said, we'll just cut out this part. We won't be needing this other part of the collar, okay? Because this style has the jacket sitting inside the shoulder line. Okay, so now, we are done with this, so I'll be cutting it on the fabric now. So it skipped my mind. I made a mistake, and before I cut that out, I should have formed my collar. So I'll form it like this before I cut it out, just so I'll I'll be sure of that I'll be sure that it enters the shoulder line comfortably. Okay. So cutting it this way, I'll now cut it from the red part, the back side. So there we have it on the collar, like this. So this is it. And then when we're cutting it on the fabric, you add half half inch here around the collar and the lapel. Okay, that's for seaming. And then you can add quarter inch around this notch part, okay? So here is it on the fabric and I've added half inch all around the shoulder line, the collar and the lapel part. But for the notch part, I'm using just quarter inch, okay, to sew. I'll be adding just quarter inch. So I'll cut this out now. And then I'll notch the that. So I've added interface to it. I've added interface to it. So I'll just go to where we notched for our dads. And I'll I will sew using half inch and then sew the length of six inches. Okay. So I'll then use this part to turn the you know the lapel and the collar part. So I've held the dart and I've closed this other part of the lapel and the collar. Okay, so I had top stitch so that this part will sit. Now remember on the jacket, the jacket part is on the right side. So so you top stitch, then this will go to the right side of it. So now I'll bring in the bustier part. This bustier part, I've already sewn it. Then I'll bring in the jacket. Now looking at the picture, the jacket comes a little after that position. So I'll take it. Now remember this a bustier so definitely the dart position has been shifted a little you know inwards so i'll bring it like this and make sure it aligns okay the armhole and oh uh, then whatever excess i have i'll trim that out now you will align it such that to be equal on the shoulder of the bustier this way and then you leave half inch around the neck that's where we will We'll bring in the neckties so this is it after aligning this way i'll take it to the machine and sew it down you'll pin this okay and then remember it's a bustier so it will be it will be better if you do it on a dress form okay and then ensure that it will be relaxed when it is worn like this so i'll take it to the machine and then sew it out and then trim out whatever excess I have for the jacket, you know, because everything will have to come, you know, in everything will have to align with, you know, the shape of the bustier part. And when I'm done with that, I'll bring in the skirt part, the front panel, and then locate the midpoint and sew it all the way. And then we'll start the shaping. Okay. So, attaching the jacket part to the upper body, this is what I have. I've trimmed out all the excesses that I have from the, you know, from the jacket part that I added. So now, I'll take out the allowances that I added for seaming at the bust, waist, 
and the hip line all the way to the hem and then i will use i will use half inch to sew the shoulders same thing with the lining now, now for the neck i'm not using the lining to turn the neck i'll just simply uh, sew them together and then we'll work on the necktie now for the neckties this is i'll be using this piece of fabric and it measures about five one quarter five one quarter inches by Five and quarter by 59 and a half inches so now be because on the dress there's a zipper behind so I'll it will not be an all-round necktie so I'll need to divide this into two you know one for each side so I'm dividing it into two equal parts and then I'll shape this other other edge you, know, you can shape it the way you want you can leave it as square you know if you want but i don't want to make it a bit pointy so i'm just easily cutting this off like this because that's the shape i want to have at the edge now i'll be using half inch to sew it okay for the neck on the dress the necktie will come to the middle like this so I will need a neat finishing so i'll just turn it in use the lining to turn it with about two inches this way and two inches the this other way okay just that when the necktie comes it will have a neat finishing a neat look here i hope you understand now attaching the necktie to the neck i will need to to measure out what we have as neck circumference and I have 22 one quarter here. So now dividing that by two, because you know we've, we've cut the necktie into two. So dividing that by two, I have 10 three quarter. So now on the necktie, before I sew it, I will measure 10 three quarter. This is the part that will go to the back and this is the part that will tie in front. So I will measure it this way. 10 three quarter you know and then i'll fold in half inch on each side on both sides you know that's what i'll use to sew to the neck but this from this point now i'll close it using half inch i'll sew it using half inch all the way to this other edge but this other part i'll make it open and then fold half inch on each side the same thing on the other necktie so sewing the necktie, I've already done one part of it. So you first of all trim out the, the excess of the zipper that we have here. Now, now the necktie, this part of it, I've already sewn out and turned it inside out. This is the allowance, the half inch allowance that I said I'll be ironing. You know, so then I'll sew, I'll turn it this way and, and use half inch to sew it. And then I will turn it inside again, make sure that this other part of it is uh, pointy, you know, comes out well. Then I will use that half inch that I ironed out and bring it to the neck this way, making sure that the, the seam of that half inch I've sewn aligns with the zipper. And then I'll sew half inch and stop it one inch before the midpoint that I marked. So after sewing this way, I will turn to this to the back side now and make sure this part of you know this edge you know covers the zipper and then I will pin it make sure I arrange it to cover the zipper the lining very well okay And then when I'm done with pinning it, I'll turn it to this side and sew it using the seam. I'll sew it inside that seam. Try to make sure it's inside that seam just to make your work neat. 
So when you're done with that, this is what you have. See, looks neater. Okay, so the next thing I will insert the the sleeves and then use two inches to do the hemming. For the sleeves, I'll be using this piece of fabric measuring 17 inches length. Okay, and then I use it about 30 inches width. Okay, so I'll be cutting the two sleeves at once. So I'll, this is on fold and the width is about 30 inches and the length of it is 17 inches. So I'll fold it into two and then measure the, the bicep length of five inches and already have the length. So now I'll measure it. Um, the, the round sleeve is 14 inches. So this is be this will be the normal round sleeve but because the sleeve is a bit bogus so I can just add one inch is or about one and a half inches ease of it for ease one and a half inches for ease and then I'm adding the same allowance one inch okay so extend the bicep line and extend it this way so now I'll measure on the length the same thing I have here that is eight and a half plus one inch and now I'll determine to use either three or four inches so I'm going with three inches okay and then I'll connect this um, from the bicep line to the length now and because it might come out as flay so I'll go up with one inch this way and then connect it to meet the length. Like this. And now for the cuff, I'm just going to make a simple cuff. Okay. Just like this. Because already we have tiny pleats around here. So with this, I can now cut it out. I will notch the midpoint here. I like to notch the midpoint here as well. Now this part, whenever I'm doing gathers, it helps me to spread the gathers evenly so that I will not push the gathers to one part and the other part will have less gathers. So now this is the sleeves and for the band, I'll be using this piece of fabric um, six and a half inches height and about 12 inches length now i'll make it unfold i'll sew it this way with half inch and then turn it inside out and make it unfold okay okay so now for the sleeves the way we will do gathers around here so around gather stitches here and then i'll be using half inch to sew on these other parts okay and when i'm done with that i will use the bag so i've gathered the sleeve and i've sewn this part okay and this is the band for it i use one inch to sew so now like i said i'll make it unfold so you can go ahead and notch the midpoint and then you bring the side seam to this part and then and then you locate the midpoint here you know and sew it like that and then afterwards you interlock another way to do it is you fold you fold this you know you fold the edge with half inch iron it round and then sew it around the the hem here that's to give you a neat finishing so i opted for the second option which is to fold it fold the two edges with half inch the first option would, would have been easier but this one will make your work neater so the next thing is just to make it unfold like this and take it round the the circumference of the sleeves so you bring this half the same part and make sure it, it aligns with the same part like this So you bring it together 
you know, make sure it is equal and then pin it. And, and then you do the same thing all round. Make sure all of them is tucked in. Okay. So attaching the band to the sleeve, this is what it looks like. It was a bit tedious, but if you take your time, you will love the final look.